Hey everybody, it's Barrett from the All About Nothing podcast. This week, it's our second episode in the Dungeons and Podcast series. If you remember from our last episode, our adventurers had come together after our own long journeys to meet in a familiar town with not so familiar landscapes. Something is strange, and our adventurers can sense there's more going on here than just a new temple in town. So enjoy this second episode in our fantastical journey. Troll in the Brewery. Here's your new Brooklyn Tavern events update from the All About Nothing podcast. On Wednesday, September 13th, Crowbar with Primitive Man, Body Box, and Bath. Thursday, September 14th, Drop King's Riot Tour with Outline and Color and Varsity. On Sunday, September 17th, an all-ages show with Rain City Drive, Within Destruction, Paris Bridge, and Sunbreak. And Tuesday, September 19th, it's the Keep Flying record release with Scumbag Monday, Olympic Goal, and Lola Grace. New Brooklyn Tavern is located at 122 State Street in West Columbia. For tickets and details, head over to newbrooklyntavern.com. This episode of the All About Nothing podcast is brought to you by GOT Sound Studio. GOT Sound Studio offers a variety of experiences. Music, voice, and instrumental recording and production, video, and still photography. GOT Sound Studio has all of your media needs met. Owned and operated by Dominique Stewart, the Neek the Geek, experienced artists as well as up-and-coming will find everything they need to create. Bring your media needs to one of the most talented producers and engineers in the business, Neek the Geek. You can find details by visiting gotsoundstudio.com or calling 803-243-2302. You can also find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. The All About Nothing podcast may have language and content that isn't appropriate for some. Listener discretion is advised. This is the All About Nothing podcast. Hey, what's going on over there? Troll in the brewery. Can't talk. Troll in the brewery. Troll in the brewery. I say we assist. Yes, team? Yes, I agree. <laughs> so normally you're not going to see trolls in town, right? Because yeah. No, that's weird. Does anybody know where this troll came from? They're just, they're just going troll in the brewery. Trolls in the brewery. Troll in the brewery. Let's go. You guys run inside. Get it's a very enclosed space. Oh. He's having, this, this guy is. He's tearing things up. He's tearing things right away. <laughs> He's knocking trolls down. With a can do shout. So, this is our first taste of <laughs> Single guy. And what I found is that, see how this goes. This word. It's that, uh, I start losing. <laughs> I'm saying I don't want to die right away. Exactly. <laughs> I've been telling him, I'm like, he's like, do you keep your character? I was like, unless you die. Yeah, right. But dead's not always dead. Yeah, no, it's not. I said okay, so cool. he's a little inebriated because he's been getting into the group. So he he is low on initiative. Everybody needs to roll a 20 sided dice to see where. Now. What the hell? Eight. 17. <laughs> Correct, I got eight. One again. <laughs> roll again. Are you weighted? Seven. Eight. eight. Okay. Well, just, like a little bit of work here. Ones? We got an eight. He's got a seven. We got an. Seventeen. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Do we need to be anywhere specific on D and D Beyond? You don't have to do anywhere. Okay. Oh. You can you can be on your character sheet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where the, where all of your like actions are. Yeah. 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 What'd you get? I got a ten. Okay. So depending on depending on how many people are there? And how quickly we go through this, right? Sometimes we'll do things in groups because it goes fast. And depending on how much time we have. I, I've got some things set up, so it should take this amount of time and this amount of time. Sometimes combat can get really, really bogged down. So my goal is to not let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody knows what their, their main kind of attack is. Yes. So what? My main one is my long sword. You got a long sword, okay? Axe. The great axe, that's the one you want to use. And then what are you, as, as a druid and a cleric, you guys have special choices you can make. You can cast some spells. We're going to be really carrying everybody around. <laughs> wow. Uh, I have. Um, <laughs> and you have so, a, a hammer. Yeah, I have the war hammer as a, as a melee attack, but I also have spells. 
Uh, so I have Sacred Flame, cool. which I can hit from 60 feet away. Yeah. Uh, we're like, oh, we're bunched up. Yeah. yeah. We're all, there's, yeah, there's no ranging here at all. There's no range, there's no need to do range attacks. We're in the middle of this. Small just, area, right? Yeah. Well, it sounds like if the troll's already been into the brew, <laughs> and if, cool. if, he can, if we can tell he's visibly already, you know, uh, it might be in, in this environment, it's probably better to go ahead and just do the, the, the melee attacks rather yeah. than. As a druid, and a tiny little druid, you can do all kinds of different things. Now, remember, we, I, I talked about something on the chat called a cinematic attack or a cinematic action. If you can describe your action cinematically, when you roll, you get to roll two 20 sided dice. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. And then you get to pick the better one. Okay. And then that way, it makes things go a little bit quicker, plus a little bit more flavor, a lot, a lot more fun. So we'll need to describe what we're wanting to do and then roll. What yes. we're doing in the process? Yes. Like, I, okay. Like, how you, like, what? Like, like, I take my axe and swing and hit him in the shins or whatever, something yes, like that. Yes, exactly. That's exactly yeah. the idea. Perfect. So. Safiard, the druid, rolled the highest initiative, so we're going to go one, out, one, one at a time this time. And then if we find that we have to go quicker, we'll, we'll do group, grouping up of initiatives. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know that any of this magic works in this situation, because mine is all, like, animal-based. So what, what do you have? Let's talk about one of the things you can do, the different things you can do. Um, well, my, I've got a scimitar, so I can use that, but okay. I've got combat wild shape. I've got magic stone. Um, what does magic stone do? It allows me to put magic into rocks and I can throw them. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. So, okay, well then I will use my magic stone, or one of my magic stones, I think I only get three, and fill it with, can I choose the kind of magic? I don't know how that works. Okay, so what, you, so what does the effect say? Do I click on it? Yeah, it should give you some information. Touch one of the pebbles and imbue them with magic. I can make a range spell attack with one of the pebbles by throwing it. Range of 60 feet. Yep. That's hers. Uh, spell casting ability it. modifier, not on the attackers, on the attack roll. On a hit, the attack. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say what kind of magic. It's just got magic in it. Yeah, yeah. it's just got magic. So, so I'm going to throw it at the... I'm going to uh, use my magic stone and throw it at the troll's head. Okay. So now you get to roll two 20-sided dice. And so, to hit, it'll show on your on that actions page what the two hit number is. Let's not get too bogged down. Just let's roll and see what you get. Thirteen and a three. Okay, so you hit him. Okay. So what? So what does the what is the damage on a uh, on a on a, on, a, on, a, on a magic stone? It'll tell you right next to it. It's like a one d eight plus something. One d six plus two. So roll a six-sided dice and add two to it. Nope. No, that's square. That's eight. Square. Six sides. Oh. Four. Okay, so you got him for six damage. You, get, you, you got a pretty, pretty good lump on his head. Hmm. All right. So the next one is Gru. All right. So uh, I assume that I am within uh, range, I think. I'll do oh, it. there's, there's, you're, yeah. there's, everything's yeah. good. There's no range questions here. All right, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a melee with my warhammer. Okay. Uh, and I am going to also uh, let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna try and strike him in the in the knees. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my warhammer and I want to hit him as hard as I can in the knees. So the damage on that well I got I guess I got to roll for roll roll two twenty seven dice if you don't have two. Right. So, 11. <laughs> I, got, I got a 1 and a 10. No, you got a 10? Yeah. You okay. choose the highest. Yeah, yeah, so 10. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so so what happens is you swing your hammer yeah, really hard, and it just whiffs right by his knee, and you start spinning. <laughs> oh, I'm sad for you. That's disappointing. <laughs> Okay, there'll be another try. <laughs> okay, so now now you get to go, Lorian Kilgore. All right. I uh, unleash my long sword, and it rings throughout the, the brewery, and I take it and I slash him across the, just the center section and go, Aah! Okay, roll, roll your 220-sided two, two dice to see what you do. 18. 
Thirteen. Garcia, you hit him. And that's what, what kind and of damage? That is a one d eight plus six. Damage in in this damage in fifth edition is not like earlier editions. Earlier editions, damage was out of control. Yeah. Like most people at fourth level would be doing twenty thirty damage. Wow. And I just they just changed it. And so they they've tried to make it so that it evens out. Um, what I found is that almost anything gets taken out by any group of adventurers more than two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my eight-sided die. Yeah, yeah. All right. 1d8 plus six. Eight plus six. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. Right. Good hit. So now now, now we've got the, uh, the the berserker. Now you got a thing. You can't go rage right away because you got to get there. I'm way ahead of you, but I want to hear how our troll is faring at the moment. He's been, he's been he's been hitting the head with a rock. He's got a lump on his head, and he does have a big old cut on his, on his chest now. He's not. He's, he is still pretty strong. Okay, he's he's rocking maybe a little bit. Yes, but, but he's still, still pretty going. strong. Give it to him. Okay. I I pull my great axe. I monitor him closely. Okay. Okay. I have two hands on my axe. Thank you. I take two steps and I swing at his midsection. Okay, so run the roll two two twenties. See what you get. Nice, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Three. Okay, so you still hit him. You got him. The okay. Fifteen hits. Yes. And so your great axe damage is going to be. It is one d twelve plus four. Yes, that's a good one. The twelve is the is the one with uh, pentagons on. Nine. Nine and four? Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so this is pretty good. You guys are doing really well. You guys have... He is... Uh, he is. He is, looks just about halfway done. Okay, so I'm going to give the dwarves in here a chance to help a little bit. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to roll... I'm going to give them two attacks. They're here just like, two guys. Okay, one of them hits, one of them doesn't. Because they're they're like they're they're very thankful. They're going, yay! They yell in the background. <laughs> and one, you know, 11, 11 points of damage total. So that's so it's it's not not you don't want in a situation like this. I've been where I've helped, and all of a sudden I'm the one killing monsters. That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now the troll gets to go. Yep. Our ass now. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna roll. There's four of you guys. I'm gonna roll four sided dice to see who he swings at. Most likely, he's going to swing at the person who did the most damage. Oh. <laughs> you do. Brace yourself. One. Oh. oh. <laughs> he says, dwarves. I hate dwarves. <laughs> the troll <laughs> hates the it's dwarves. Really? Full of dwarves. Oh, he's pretty he says, I'm going to pick you because you were the one who tried to hit me. Okay, so but he's going to roll with disadvantage because he's already halfway done. Okay. And he's half drunk. What's your... Oh, no, he doesn't hit it. On first attack, he's got three attacks. Okay, what's your AC? Uh, 16. Armor class? Yeah. 16. Okay, so he does not hit. Okay. The second time. The last time, let's see what happens. He doesn't hit at all. Wow. Guy's got lucky Super drunk. Time. That drunk <laughs> bastard. Normally, okay, so here's the, here's the thing. He, he, he's... Feeling better all of a sudden, you notice that he's just like all like so, some sort of magic thing happens, and he's got an innate, innate heal ability. Oh, yeah, so he's starting to feel a little bit better. The, the, the alcohol is actually helping him. He's a Wolverine troll. <laughs> <laughs> so we go out now, we're back again. We start over. All right, so that wasn't too bad. That was a pretty quick, pretty quick round. I've seen, seen that take 30 minutes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So we're doing good. All right. So now I might have to extend here. Here and there and there. So we're doing good. Okay. okay. So we roll. We, we don't. We don't. Do we roll for initiative again? We, we just we stay in the same order. We keep okay. initiative okay. until the end of the, the encounter. Now, your 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 Bruce guy, he's still standing in the back. He's like, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Coward. I'm beginning to think this is a setup. Yes. Yeah. But he came in. Is this a litmus <laughs> test? Yeah. <laughs> is he checking our durability and agility? 
That's an interesting idea. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. That's what I'm wondering. He set this whole thing up. We'll kill him next. Get <laughs> smart for the ball. Get smart for the ball, man. All right. What do we do now? It's your turn now. It's my turn. So. So, I don't know if I went and got my pebble back, but my <laughs> scimitar has the same attack. So you don't want to do your wild shape yet? Can I do it in here? Yeah. You can do it anywhere. In any animal that I've seen. Any animal that any. you've seen, anything you can think of that might help, that you think will help you in this situation. There's a bear. I'll be a bear. I've seen a bear. I used to live in the forest. I was born in the forest. You can do bear. You can do anything else. I need you to roll a 20-sided dice. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Now explain how you go into wild shape and then decide whether or not you can roll two of them. This is something I've added in for fun. Okay, so um, I'm nervous because the troll is healing, and I'm very small, so I want to be very large. Okay. Uh, so I decide that I'm going to choose a very large animal, and I conjure from the forest. I call on whatever I need to call on, mm -hmm. and I turn into a large grizzly bear. Okay, so roll two 20-sided two dice, and tell me what you get. 18 and 16. Okay. Perfect. You did a perfect wild shape. I could be like a half a bear. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> you got paws. Bear head in my For some head. reason, you've only grown tusks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not going to give it up. You got the bear feet. <laughs> We're going to see how that works out. Now, so now you can do bear claw attacks. Okay. But you get three, a bite and two bear claws. Okay. Instead of just one attack, you can do all three of those. Sounds like the greatest I can do that right ever. now. Yeah. <laughs> or I have look, you guys, some of you have opportunity attacks. Yeah. yeah. And that means it's a second attack. Okay. So what we'll do is, after he goes, you guys will get some opportunity attacks this time. If he hits, you get, opp you get opportunity attacks. Okay, so now I need you to roll. Tell me how you're going to, the bear's going to do his climb. Okay. You, you, can, you can roll those all day long on the, the thing. It just shows me that it doesn't actually oh, affect okay. anything. So I'll, you guys want to use the online rollers? They come up and they show. Yeah. They show it to me on the screen, too. It's really kind of cool. The second thing, I didn't realize that my longsword had two different attacks, I guess. Yeah, one's, one's a swoop, like a sweep and a... Well, they both say slashing. That's weird. Because one's 1d8 one plus 6, and the other one's 1d10. One I guess one's it's either or. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So if you tell me you're, you're doing two-handed, okay. it's two-handed. Cool. Go ahead. All right, so I rear up on my hind legs. Yep, yep. And... Slash at the ogre, left and then right, um, once across the face and once across the chest. Okay, go ahead. Let's roll two dice and see see how you do on the first one. You what do you what do you attack with? I His claws. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. Oh, shape. okay. Because yeah, it's, it's a wild shape. I'm going to roll the dice. I'll, I'll tell her what to roll. It'll be like d8s. Okay. But roll the roll, roll the hit first. Your twenties. Roll twenty. Yeah. Roll two. You get advantage. A four and a six. Okay, so the first claw misses. Roll again. An 18 and a 15. Okay, second claw gets him right across the jaw. Boom. Roll a D8 and add four. That's eight. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Seven plus four, 11. All right. Now you get one more attack, which is a bite attack. All right, I'm um, still on my hind legs. The troll is kind of wobbly because I just hit him across the jaw. I bite him in the neck. Okay. Roll two dice. Two twenties. Eight and nine. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> you trip. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you just, you just, you don't get enough purchase. Like you're in there, but you just don't get him close enough and he pushes you off of it. <sighs> okay. Good effort. All right. Down Go ahead, Drew. Let's see what happens. All right. So uh, now I it, I have a bonus action. So we're going to do bonus actions after he attacks. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, okay. So um, uh, I'm going to do Warhammer again. And what I want to do is I take my hammer in both hands and I want to swing at his hips or, or like his torso. Okay. So uh, let's see. Please. So. 13 and a 14. Okay. Do you have any pluses in that category? To hit. Plus to hit. Uh, so I'm looking at my attack. Yeah. It's the number right Under, before. Yeah. Damage. 
the number right before damage, I have a plus three. You hit him. Sweet. You rolled too low last time for that. Make the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what's the damage on that one? So 1d8 plus one. Okay, so yeah. Eight, nine. Okay, that's a great hit. You did clock him right in his hips. He's like, ah, oh, come on. All body. All body. <laughs> He's starting to yell in comments. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now next is, is uh, Valorium, the, the Paladin. You're going to do two-handed this time? Yeah, I think I'll do two-handed this time. Um, I'm going to grab the grab my uh, longsword, and I'm still going to slash, but I'm going to try and get him in the neck. Okay. Yo! Let's see what you get. You get to roll two. Sixteen. Okay. Five. Okay, so you get him on side of the neck, but you don't... There's no, deca- no de- decapitation. This right. Time. Okay, so let, roll, roll, roll for damage. So that is 1d10. Is it a d10? Yes. Unless it's got um, doubles on it, but just, chip, just pick one of them. Okay. Uh, six. Six plus... It is six plus four. Ten, so you got another ten. So now he is at one-fourth health at this point. Mm. So okay. I come in. See so what I mean? How it's a big, scary monster. Yeah. But almost, I think that the challenge ratings are off, which is why I just, I just, I just throw them. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bonus action of wrathful smite. I accidentally used my bonus action in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's starting to be tipsy. He's, he's like, he starts to turn around, and he's not, he's not running away yet. But I'm, let me just see if he gets out of your range right away. He does not. He's just still right there, so we don't have to do anything chasing or anything like that. He's just trying to get out, out of there now because he's almost he's getting hurt. But go ahead. So I still with my great axe, I I walk around to face him. I okay. I oh. I dash. I dash around up on top of the the brew keg. I dash on top of the brew keg. High and mighty with my great axe, oh. I come down to, decap- to decapitate the troll. Okay, there you go. Roll two dice. There, there we go. There you, you guys got this. Four. Oh no. Oh. Five. Well, it's what are you? Five. <laughs> 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 you need shit. <laughs> what'd you get? What'd you, what's your plus on that? Anything? Four. Oh wait, wait. Uh, plus plus six, right? Yeah. So plus six to hit. Plus six. Oh, well. It's an 11. Yeah. He's nearly headless Nick. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You still missed, unfortunately. <laughs> I, don't, I want a different dice. <laughs> that was the greatest slow motion the one in your bag. attack I was gonna maneuver. Say, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, let me just say bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let me roll the, the four-sided dice yeah, just to see. I have a feeling I know who the, who the, yeah. the, the, the target's going to be. Heavy, I think. But it's not. Oh. He bypasses you and he goes straight for the... Door. For, the, for Valerian Kilgore, the the the, uh, the, the the paladin, because he's he's had it. He's just had it. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Um, first attack he hits. Second attack he misses, and then let's see the third attack. He got a twenty. Oh, oh no! So his first attack is a D six plus four. So eight. You have to take eight damage. Um, I can I can keep track. You can hurt me. <laughs> you can hurt me. <laughs> I was wondering how, okay. I actually can't. So you have to do it. Yeah. Damage. Now, can I ask eight. a question while he's damage. doing that? Or you can write it down or just keep track of it somewhere. So I took it off of here, eight damage. So can she not heal him? Well, yes. It's not, it's not time yet, right? Yes. Yeah, it is. You can do it in the middle of the battle or you can do it after. He's only at 24 out of 32. But you're right, but he, but, but we do have heals. Is there yes. Yeah. I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, we you, got, right? Yeah, I can. I can lay I'm hands. I'm a big healer. And he's a big healer. Yeah, I can lay hands. You can heal too, though. So here's his, his second, his third attack, which he got a twenty on. <laughs> it doesn't want me to do any more than that. Is you get you take eight more damage. <laughs> <laughs> You? <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I mean, you're not, you're not even limping at this point. We don't really know you. <laughs> as 
letting out like a. If there's one thing we know about uh, old Kilgore over there, he he sure knows how to take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> okay, so we're back to the top. I'm still a bear, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can stay bear the rest of the encounter. All right. So. Meanwhile, when did a bear get here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Troll's back is to me, and I'm going to run up on it. Can I bite first? Yeah, yeah. You okay. Can do you want to do. And bite it in the back of the head. Okay. Roll, roll two, two, two twenties. Oh, you have to. Uh, oh, a twenty. Not twenty. Okay, you get him right on the back of the head. Nice. So what I want you to do is roll your damage on that twice. They take the highest. You said that was the eight-sided one for that, or yeah, it's the triangles. The... Which one's triangle? Oh, it's okay. the one with eight sides. It's eight. Yeah. This one. This one? <laughs> this one. Two pyramids. Two pyramids. Thank you. The one with the eight sides. <laughs> That's a six. Okay, roll it again. Roll it again. Let's see what you get. And a six. Okay, so add them together. Twelve. Twelve plus whatever your plus is. Where's my plus at? Damage. Okay. Oh no! I, no no. Oh, I'm a bear. It's a bear. I'm oh, a bear. Yeah. I think I gave you. Plus four, so it's, it's um, oh, four, 16. Okay, 16. Okay. It looks like this toll is on its last legs. Can I use my claws still or my tag's done? Yes, you're not done. All right, so then while well, yeah. the troll is really upset, missing back of his skull, I go ahead and use my claws to punch him down into the ground. Okay. I mean, rolls like this, guys. Ew. <laughs> yeah. 13. Okay. I mean, it's working. And 11. got a damn 20. Okay, so you got 13. <laughs> roll, roll two more. Of this one? Yeah, really. This is bad. 15 and a 19. Okay, so you hit him one more time with your claws. Yeah. Okay. And then that's this one again? Yep. Four. Plus four, so eight. Eight. Okay. Oh, wow. We did okay. He is not... He is not asleep, but he is down. He's gone on his knees. He's not all the way dead, though. And it's your turn. All right. So I'm going to do one more hammer again, but this time I want to come down on his head. Okay. Like a smashing pumpkin. And, and, I, and I yell, you got him, little one. Is he on his knees down, or is he down, down? He's not down, down. Okay. He still can attack. Okay. All right. Hey, what was the thing from Rocky, like with Dra Drago? Kill. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I want to I want to use my warhammer to uh, to to come down on his head and let's let's finish him off. Let's All do right. it. So I got oh a three and a six. A thirteen and a six. Plus oh, it was a thirteen. Oh, thirteen and a six. So I got thirteen plus three, so sixteen. You hit him. All right. All right. So one d eight plus one. Eight. Eight again. So nine. You have crushed this guy's skull. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Way to go, uh, what's his name? Gru. Gru. Gosh, like from Despicable Me. Yeah, it, yeah. Just or minus the T on Groot. I yeah. am Groot. Okay, so he says I love you guys. Now no, Gru's better. The thing Gru's is, is he's down for the count. But, okay. Yeah. There's no bout. There's no bout. Okay. <laughs> now we can't talk he, to him. He okay. said the thing is, and I'm like, uh oh. But he, he no, there was a button. Yeah, <laughs> but he is. He can regenerate, but he's not. He's not at the point where he can generate right. Regenerate gotcha. right now. If you wanted to talk to him, you'd have to do something to make it so that it, you would be safe. Like a oh, I have a rope, right? That's one of my things in my bag. Yeah, you guys. Every, everyone should have a rope. Yep. So if you guys want to do that, I hope it's good enough. The they're, they're ropes are going to be good enough. You guys are proficient in the ropes. <laughs> I don't have a rope. I don't see that. I have a rope. I have a 50 foot rope. All right, that's enough to time up. So, you guys, everybody roll 20 sided dice and tell me what you get. Okay. Dice. 18. Six. Which you just knocked into a 19. Six. <laughs> Six. Nine. Nine. 18. 18 to 14. Okay, so you guys were successful in tying him up. You guys played patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, helping, I'm helping my friend over here. <laughs> I don't know how to tie a rope. <laughs> I missed that class in Boy Scouts. 
Oh, I do. I see. Fantasy a ten, ten pound rope. I got it. I see it now. Where do you see okay, it? so there you go. Um, under all inventory. Yeah, I don't have it. Mine's in my backpack. <laughs> okay, so I miss that. you can't interrogate when you're a bear. Okay. Because you don't speak. Ah, uh, yeah. You just be growling. So you're gonna change back, right? Now. Yes. <laughs> Roll twenty sided dice for me. I'm not gonna be naked, am I? No, 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 no. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Now you're oh, naked. now I have bear arms or something, don't I? <laughs> you just have bear teeth. That's it. Okay, so as you change back, I'm gonna be a hairy woman. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> as you change back, the thoughts of the meadow into your mind, but then everything is fine. You just you yearn for the meadow. You had a vision or something. Does it slow her? Does it slow her transition back to human form or anything like that? Oh, okay. (laughs) All right. So I'm back to being. Yeah, you're back to being yourself. Okay. So now you guys get to ask a couple questions, and that you guys have called for the the local monster picking up guys. They're not there yet. Okay. Right. Like there's there's every town's got a group of. Strong men who come and, and, yeah. and help get rid of monsters that have not been all the way killed in town if that happens. Very few times it happens, but gotcha. you guys have called for them. Does charisma matter that on this since we've... It been... might. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what, is, what is your charisma? 11. 11. 16 plus 3. 14 plus 2 on mine. So you oh, charisma. Charisma. Oh, I am 10. Oh, so I'll ask him. <laughs> oh, 11. I have 16 charisma. So we can ask him. Who sent you? Nobody sent me! Nobody sent me! Why did you come here? The beer! The beer here! Where did you come from? Down in the hole! How did you get here? Where's the hole? Down in the hole! Point to the hole. And he points down the the, the cellar. Oh, so he came from the cellar. Came from the cellar, guys. Uh, Who keeps a troll in the cellar? Let me go back to my hole. Can can we do like a perception check to see if he was maybe had like a, something cast on him to make him want to come specifically here or yeah run run, run. There's, there's somebody's got to take magic I think if not uh, you, can just, you can just run it you can just run it you just roll I, do, it. I have perception. I have detect magic I believe even if you don't you can just roll roll perception checks there's, everyone's got a little perception thing on their on their regular sheet I'm looking it's like little like there's abilities per- perception there's, yeah. Yeah, I've got a plus. There it is, right there. Plus two. Where is okay. it? Right oh, in yeah. the middle, kind of that that bonus right here, somewhere in there. Yeah, I have plus zero. I so have plus two. Have plus okay, so you guys roll your dice, roll twenties, and see if you guys can see if anything's happening. Fifteen. Three. I might still be there. No. Okay, so you <laughs> absolutely <laughs> notice that nothing's been cast on this guy. He truly just came from the hole. Huh. Okay, he tells the truth. Thank you, Bob. Okay, so uh, the guys come and they take they they they, they cart him off. So now the troll is gone. Well, that was he didn't even get to go back to his home. So he That's lives in the cellar of this particular brewery. I yes. think I think we need to. Can we go look at it? Absolutely. Yeah, but I think we need to talk to. Mm-hmm. Are we you good? To... Do we need to find you something? Like you He's got enough still... blood? I or could use points? some healing. He still needs All right. Some healing. Well, let's. Why don't you guys go outside to the to merchant the, to the merchant and see if he's got anything you guys can buy. To heal instead of using up your stuff. Yeah, true. Let's go to the Take, your ass, just, take go your ass outside and let us know how that works out. We're going to go check out the cellar. We're going Everybody to the has to go together. Yeah, oh, never split the party. We're going to the merchant. I need juices. <laughs> and clearly, All right. he so doesn't we walk, trust we you. We walk out to the merchant. Okay, so he's got some weapons out there. He's got um, some potions. Um, I definitely would like to get... Uh, maybe two healing potions. Okay, so. <laughs> Do you need two healing potions or you just want to taste a healing potion? One, no. We'll, <laughs> oh, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> okay, if rest? it's got an A on it, you know what that means. Could he not just rest, though, and, like, regen? That's so smart. A long rest? A short rest. Short rest. Yes. Could do that, too, but. What does he lose? I'm at least going to buy a potion to have. Oh, my bad. You want to spend your money. Go but, ahead. Um, Go okay, ahead. so. Go. The guy says, Goldilocks. Look, the ones with hearts are a regular healing potion. The ones with the 
that skull and crossbones is it'll get you right back all the way full health, but you can only use one of those a day or it'll kill you. Oh, you don't like, need it's that. It's like one. a witcher potion. <laughs> okay, so if it's got an A on the back, it's alcoholic. If it doesn't have an A, <laughs> it's not alcoholic. So tell me the kind that you want. Give me the A. I'm a man here. I'll do this. Okay, let me see what I got here. And so you get two A's. Okay. How do one's, we... one's, a, one's a regular and one's a. Got it. How do we keep track of our money spending? I'm He's even... paying for it. Uh, oh, oh, got it. So we don't have to use the money that he gave us to get there. No, it's already spent. And we spent it getting there. Yeah. It's oh. virtually. You, you must want to get in there. Purse. Okay, got it. Got, <laughs> I'll got, say got, it. got it. One of us I was won gonna... a bar fight for money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also, while we're here, what kind of weapons does he have? Is it better than my long sword? Okay, so he's got basically all the weapons you have, but plus one extra because they're magical. Hmm. So it's like plus one hit on it? It's plus one to um, plus one damage is what you get. Okay, so does anybody I'm else want to buy some potions? I'm not I'm not buying the weapon then. I'll just stick with what I have. <sighs> yes. You no, know, you don't have to, that's the thing. Well you know what? If he's paying, I'm buying. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> this is so adorable. Look yeah, that's that. so cool. Look, it's awesome. Glass. No, I'm gonna put it. Thank you. I was about Don't to break say, it. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> you guys get to keep these two. Oh well, thank oh, you. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's the whole point. So everybody, everybody's allowed to have the. Nobody's in a twelve-step program, so we can. When you're done with your pepper. Maybe we should be, but no, we're not. What is this <laughs> chain? That's really good. That is the. Bourbon Gouda. I was going to say, it feels like Gouda for here. some reason, but... Yeah. Sparkly. Again, that's awesome. I, I just poured stuff in here, so Thank some you. of this is going to taste weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only one who needs a potion is you. Yeah, These we're gonna are it. maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's potion sticky. Like Get your third skinny little bird lips, rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so save those until you need them. Yes. Okay, so basically... You guys have gone outside to get potions. Everybody, does everybody... He said about the magic weapons, he said, look, I, I will buy these magic weapons, but you guys each owe me five gold pieces when you get back. Okay. I'm not going to get the weapon. I'm fine without it. But it only does the one extra damage. I'll. Well, if he's buying it, yeah, give it. If here's, here's the reason why you want a magical weapon. I want plus I one. Want it. Some pressure. animals, some 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 things you fight have resistance to anything that's non-magical. All right, so this is our silver sword versus our steel sword situation. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm a big Okay. Yeah. I would like for you guys just to look at my um, Bafo the bear. He's uh, awesome. Just, I mean, Bafo the, the bull, and, and just take a look at all the different things that he's, because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the merchant? Yeah, that's the merchant. All his wares. Carrier. Yeah. You halfling, you should turn into this. All right, so now we're done. Want me to be a cow? <laughs> we're gonna go into the basement, and inside the basement, it's really there's nothing special other than it looks like one of the walls has has crumbled down. Can we take that short rest first? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Is that gonna uh, short rest? So we click this button. Yeah. See what happens to your see if your damage goes up. Uh, reset maximum HP during this rest. Yes. Okay. Take short rest. Short rest. Just set it. Just set it? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, look, that's th this thing is really built well, so you just go, I want this to be fixed. Yeah. We're back to normal health. Okay. Why the troll picked me out, I don't know. Because you hit him like six times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're in the... It's very cool. So I guess playing this way online, you could probably join any group that's playing. Or yes. Did you take a short rest? Mm -hmm. You, I'm. You only need to take a short rest though if you need to heal, right? But I don't need a heal. Do I need to take a short rest? No. If you take a short rest. You're yeah, everybody, everybody, can, everybody can short rest. Oh, everything just. Yeah, and you got you got you can't raise spell slots because if you short use rest. your wild chase. What are all these things? Do I need to do something? I didn't with that? actually click anything. So Where? Any 
else where your mouse Down is. Down here where it says Druid, and I got four boxes. Am I supposed um, to click those? I, I didn't. No, those are your, those are your spell slots. Whether or not they're Utah. Yeah. Okay. You can click that toggle. All right, so I'm taking a short rest. Just, um, okay, so let's, I, got some, I got some fun tiles that will just give us a little bit of flavor. Basically, yeah, these are like little dungeon tiles that just show that we're in. Mostly from here on out, it's going to be until we get to a couple of rooms, it's going to be what's happening. Like okay. What's happening next. All right, so as you go through the, go into the, 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 the tunnel that's formed underneath the brewery, um, the, uh, the, the priest says, this might be what happened. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and go through the tunnel and see what's going on down here? Because I've investigated the entire temple. There's nothing going on. Except for it being brand new. Yeah, and, and your guy missing. Can we not ask him about it? Yeah. We'll be able to talk to him. Because also, it seems a little sketchy. If you guys want to go back to the temple first and then come down here, that's okay, too. Let's talk to him. What questions do you have? The All About Nothing podcast is produced and engineered by me, Bear Gruber, and recorded from the podcast studio at GOT Sound Studio in Lexington, South Carolina. GOT Sound Studio is owned and operated by Neek the Geek. Visit GOTSoundStudio.com for details on studio rental, production, and engineering. Thanks to Trent Clark, a.k.a. DJ Lonzo. Join him weekly at the venue in Columbia, South Carolina for the Saturday All-Star Drag Brunch and Sundays at the Review Drag Brunch. You can also contact Trent for all your entertainment needs, Trent at TheAllAboutNothing.com and on Instagram, TheRealDJLonzo. You can also phone him 803-262-7982 thanks to zach king you can follow him on instagram at king zach 07 and on twitter at carolina king 21 i am barrett gruber you can find me on instagram and twitter at barrett gruber or visit my link tree slash barrett gruber want to support the show visit our page the and become a member there are several tiers available including memberships that give you early access to episodes as well as exclusive content visit the to find links to our social media merchandise and past episodes episodes, as well as other details, visit theallaboutnothing.com. If you'd like to be heard on the show, you can call and leave us a message. Dial 803-672-0533. If the time between these episodes is more than you can handle, check out our partner podcast. Zach and I host What the Pod Was That with Carrie Simmons. Visit whatthepodwasthat.com for links and details. Ami takes a deep dive down the rabbit hole in episodes of Welcome to Wonderland. Available on all of your podcast platforms. As well, you should check out DJ Lonzo's Top 5. Available on all of the podcast listening platforms. Please subscribe and share the show. If you're on YouTube, to please like and hit the notification bell. The All About Nothing podcast is a product of Barrett Gruber Entertainment and Media. Thank you for listening. The preceding podcast is a product of Big Media and copyright 2023. All rights reserved.